Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ben from ProFixer and I wanted to show you how we use a screwdriver to remove the battery pull tabs from an iPhone. Uh, these are pretty easy to remove anyway. If you just uh, you know grab the tab and pull it slowly, you can uh, remove it. But I have seen a lot of those break uh, during that. And I believe that it's because whenever you're pulling those, you may not realize that you're speeding up or slowing down as far as on the pull, which then causes the tab to break. But a screwdriver can actually help you remove the tab and to remove it at a consistent pace so that it does not break. I'll kind of show you what uh, what we do. So what I've done, I've actually dripped a little bit of alcohol in the bottom of this here, and uh, that kind of just softens up the tabs just a little bit, makes them uh, slide out a little bit easier. But what you'll do is grab the tab itself. And I'll see if I can get this on camera for you. So grab the tab, you want to wrap it around just like that, and then you want to just wrap the tab in that way. This way you can actually move this forward and backwards uh, so you don't hit any other components, which makes it pretty easy. It plants the device on the table, so you're not having to worry about accidentally dropping it or, um, you know, it reduces, reduces your variables of movement. And so if we crank it this way, we can actually pull the whole tab out. And it pulls it out at a pretty slow pace, but very consistent. And we actually never see any of these tabs break, which is really, really cool. So just like that, got that tab out. Uh, we're gonna pull out this next one as well. So let's just get this started. And if you can see that there, it's kind of wrapped up. There we go. And you want to note the way that it's pulling, that it makes sure that the pull tab stays on the bottom side of the um, screwdriver shaft. If it goes on the top, it kind of makes the angle a little bit too sharp, but this is the way that we found that it works pretty good. And so now this last one here. Oh, no one slipped off. And now doing this last one, it's a pretty easy process. You will need to use a razor blade to cut this off of the screwdriver. You don't want it to get too big because then it makes it rotate at a faster pace. If our batteries were actually charged, it would. Uh, but that could actually break the tab from pulling it too fast. But just like that there, we got all three tabs out very easily and now the battery is uh, uh, completely loose. And uh, there's no prying or any kind of bending of the battery. And this, I've, every time I've ever done it this way, I've never broken a tab. If I'm pulling them out, um, I have broken a tab or two and then had to be careful with the removal process. But when you're using an electric screwdriver, it makes it literally impossible to break the tab in my experience. So you might want to try it out. If you have one of these laying around the shop that you no longer use for doing repairs, use it for removing batteries and see if it works. Uh, but hopefully you found this interesting and, uh, and useful and you can implement it in your shop to make it a little bit safer to remove batteries. But uh, I'll catch you all on the next repair.